Hey guys, welcome back to Misha's Corner. Today I'll be making some stuffed peppers, but um, with a twist and the way I want to make them. Um, I'm not really into stuffed peppers by any means. I don't like them. This is my first time making it on my channel. But I figured I'd like them if I made them away, in a way in which I really, you know, would eat it. So I'm going Mexican inspired. <laughs> So let's get started. All right, so I have my peppers there, my limes. This is my plantain right here. Back here I have chopped fresh cilantro. Over here I have tomatoes and onions. And I also have some spicy black beans in the can which will be added to the meat mixture. I'm using ground beef, but of course you can use ground chicken, ground turkey, ground pork, whatever you're into. All right, so I have my plantains down into a pot with shallow water. It's not that much water at all. You don't want to cover your plantains because we're just going to, like I said, steam them for like maybe 10 minutes because they are going to cook again in the oven. Alright, so I have my plantain in a bowl right here. To this, I'm going to add my roasted garlic. I'm only going to use two in this recipe. Then I'm going to add my cilantro. I'm already making a mess. I know. <laughs> then I'm going to zest my lime down in here. And then you want to season this up. I'm going to add some pepper. I'm keeping it pretty simple. And some garlic salt. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to mix this up. Keep crushing it like this. Both of them. And then this is going to be the base of the pepper. Alright guys. So I started browning my meat. And when it's halfway browned. I'm going to add my tomatoes and onion. Some pepper and some more of that garlic salt that we used in the plantain mixture. Mix this up and make sure you cook your ground beef all the way, you know, cooked. And until your onions and tomatoes cook all the way down. And then we're going to add the black beans. Okay guys, so I chopped the top off my pepper, just like this. And all you're gonna do is just put your hands down in here. Well, let me use my knife really quick. This is a huge knife. I have no business doing this with this <laughs> with this knife. But you're just going to slit it a little bit. And then you're going to wiggle, 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 wiggle until this comes out. And then you're just going to keep cleaning it out and getting all the seeds out. And then we're going to stuff it and pop it in the oven. Okay, guys. So remember the lime from earlier? We did add the zest to the plantain. Now we're going to add the juice to the meat. And this is just going to brighten it all the way up. And you know plantains can be pretty heavy, so you want to brighten this dish as much as, as much as you can. But of course it's optional. If you're not a big lime lover, it's optional. I'm also going to add my spicy black beans in. I'm probably only going to use half of my can to see where I'm at. Make sure you test for salt and pepper. Simmer this another um, 10 minutes and then we're going to stuff the peppers. Alright guys, so now we're going to stuff the peppers. I'm going to go down in here with my plantain. Get it down in there as flat as you can. We're going to take the meat and we're just going to put it down in here. Just like that. It's up to you how high you want to pile it up. I'm going pretty high with mine. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, <laughs> our pod mine is pretty high. Now I'm just going to pop this into a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes or until my peppers are slightly tender. I don't like my peppers to be half dead when I take it out. So it's up to you the type of pepper you prefer, but I will say 30 minutes on 350 should accomplish what we're looking for, but we'll see how it goes. And you don't have to do this with cheese, you can leave it off, but I wanted some cheese, so I'll put it on there. Alright guys, so this is what the pepper looks like. I did bake off the top and I added it to the top of the pepper once it was halfway done. And you can see the cheese is all melted under there. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this easy, simple, different stuffed pepper recipe. And I'll see you guys next time on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, please share, and come back. Okay guys, bye.